Hi, welcome to the Semantics Lecture Lit about Neo-Davidsonian Semantics. They're called Neo-Davidsonian because they involve Davidsonian events, but with an added twist. Essentially, what, we, what it involves is removing the distinction between arguments and adjuncts and introducing arguments through independent thematic predicates. What do we mean? So when you know, Davidson came up with his event semantics and all that, he distinguished arguments from adjuncts. So if you take a sentence like, you know, Caesar stabbed Brutus in the back with a knife, right? Caesar and Brutus are the arguments. So Caesar stabbed Brutus in the back with a knife, right? And in the back is an adjunct, with a knife is an adjunct. Why? Because we can take them all. That's the key difference between arguments and adjuncts. Everybody knows that. Right? We can do that. We can take them away. But what was noticed, even almost immediately, first by Castaneda, and then this was uh, re taken up later by Terence Parsons, is that, yeah, sure, you can take the adjuncts off. And of course, each adjunct would entail the rest of the sentence without it. So if he stabbed him in the back with a knife, that entails that Caesar stabbed Bruce in the back, right? But that also applies for the other arguments. Right? It applies for all the rest. So if Caesar stabbed Brutus in the back with a knife, what entails that Caesar stabbed? And so, in that sense, does Brutus have to be there? If Brutus doesn't have to be there, then maybe it's an adjunct too. But if it's an adjunct, how does it get associated with the event? Or we can say that Brutus was stabbed, right? or if we look at you know transitive alternations like the vase, you know, Caesar broke the vase, the vase broke, right? We can get the case where the verb itself doesn't even need its agent. So if the agent can be an adjunct, and the theme can be an adjunct, then how, does, how do we get rid of that? So for Parsons, the idea was that each of these is introduced by its own predicate. So the verb stab is just a set of stabbing events. That's it. It has no arguments, except the event argument. And then, we say, well, what is this thematic relation? Let's say for agent. So, we'd say Caesar is the agent of E. And we'd say that Brutus is the theme of E. And so forth. And that um, the knife is the instrument of E. And that the back is the location of E. And we can do this for thematic role after thematic role. And notice these are all of type ST. They're all the same type, so we can combine them through predicate modification. And now the entailments work, just like they did with the adjuncts to begin with. And, these are, and it works out just fine. It gets the exact you know, uh, entailments that we want. We existentially quantify over it. We get the diamond entailments that we want. It works out just fine. Now here's what Parsons does not say. What Parsons is focusing on the, the meaning, the philosophical side of things. He explicitly said this has... He has, makes no claims about composition or how this structure gets built or the syntax. And so now that's going to be the question for us. It's going to be, if this isn't an argument, right, then how does it get in there? Well, it has to be plugged into you know, agent. So agent by itself needs to be of type E, S, T. So it expresses a relation between an event and an individual, saying that uh, 
It takes an individual in an event, and it says that the individual is the agent of that event. And the same for theme, instrument, and so forth. We can do that for all the thematic labels. And so, well, in that case, um, then we have to reconfigure the syntax, because now this is going to have to be a predicate that takes Caesar as its argument and then combines. So something has to introduce this agent head. Something has to introduce this theme head. So we need to add heads to the syntax, and this is going to be a tricky issue. Um, we're not going to do that just yet, because we're going to see in another lecture bit that uh, we can refine this uh, in interesting ways. So, um, but that's the Neo-Davidsonian approach. It's pretty s simple. It eliminates the distinction between arguments and adjuncts by making the arguments the, not arguments of the verb, but arguments of thematic predicates. And then these thematic predicates combine with the verb through predicate modification and gets us all the entailments that we want. So what we'll have to think about if we want to do something different is how do we get those entailments? And how do we get the syntax to continue to work given this mess? Cut.